When I say this thing is nasty, it's nasty. Consciously making a, a, a conscious decision, a real decision to better yourself. So you know your heart. Don't let people chain you to your past, man. Use your past as fuel to better your future. Use your past as fuel to transform other people's lives. Use your past as fuel to teach lessons to other people to help them not make the same mistakes. You have to understand your past qualifies you to help others get through it. Because if you never went through it, how could you ever help somebody else get through it? What's good fam? Welcome back to the channel. Al's lifestyle journey, you feel me? Been a while since I done a video, so I just wanna keep y'all updated on what I'm doing out here. All right guys, now Al's lifestyle journey, that's my new YouTube channel. That's where I share lifestyle and fitness content. So if you guys wanna see that, y'all guys can head over to my new channel, Al's lifestyle journey. And yeah, man, check out what I'm doing over there. Right now, me and my brother, we're in Frankfort, New York. And we're headed to Massachusetts, take this load from over in Washington. Uh, but that's not what it's about, guys. It's about eating healthy while being out here on this road. As I said, not because of your truck driver mean you cannot eat healthy. Back in August of 2020, this is the biggest that I've got, 404 pounds, guys. Now, as you can see, I was not always a big guy growing up. Now, this is my ideal weight that I was, you know what I mean, a few years back before I got into trucking. So, you can see I was more fit. I, I have more physique, guys. So, I started coffee and lemon challenge. I started it like two days ago. So far, I lost one pound. I'm going to be doing a weigh-in. Like, soon as we can come to a stop, I'm going to do a weigh-in and throw it in this video so y'all guys can see if we're doing the starting point for last week i was weighing 367 pounds all right so this is my new weight all right we're gonna do it again just to make sure i made sure the surface was flat do it one more time and you gotta keep in mind i still the phone still got weight to it so i don't know how much the phone weighs there we go i'm losing the weight yes guys this is what i have for breakfast in the morning pretty simple just a little bit of string beans tomato solid tomato and uh romaine and yeah egg that's it you feel me and i don't know Maybe later on I'll have salmon and asparagus or some more string beans. I'm not sure as yet what I'm gonna have, but it's gonna be a small portion. You know what I mean, maybe, you know, same portion as this, you know. Um, a lot of people eat normal, you know what I mean, when it comes to this diet, but I'm trying to be extreme. I'm trying to knock this weight off. So I'm still gonna, you know, do less portions of food and um, along with the, um, the coffee and lemon so pretty much once i eat breakfast and i will probably have dinner in the afternoon i won't eat anything for the rest of the day and usually i eat breakfast late i eat breakfast around 10 12 o'clock throughout the day i try to hold out as much as possible before i eat something so i'm losing the weight and i'm coming from 404 pounds and i'm down to 366 pounds so far in just a few months so clearly it's working the diet is working and that's what's keep pushing me to keep to stick into the diet you know what i mean and I, I feel the weight going off i can see it in my clothes my clothes that used to be tied on me is like loose now you know what i mean i can see it i can run now and i won't feel the extra pressure on my leg so hey it's working you feel me so the whole coffee and lemon thing tell you the truth man it's kind of gross it tastes nasty yeah i mean i drink coffee but i i usually used to drink it with like milk or creamer with sugar this is the first time i'm really just drinking straight coffee with lemon with no sugar or anything and that thing tastes nasty 
but if they say it works, I see a bunch of videos and they say it works, so why not? So, so this is gonna be my one week challenge. And after that one week, I'm gonna see how much weight I lost. And if it really works, you know what I mean, like everybody else, I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm just gonna make it a part of my lifestyle. Something that I do every day to get this weight off, get down to that 200 pounds or maybe 250. And everybody be saying I should just stay at 250. So we'll see, man, we'll see. I just need to get this weight off and that's all that matters by the end of the day. So guys, I'm gonna uh, have my breakfast right now and you know, move on with the rest of my day. Just wanted to keep you guys updated what I'm doing out here because this channel is about fitness and I wanna keep y'all in tune. Clearly I'm a truck driver, so I'm busy. I'm busy, you know I mean? I'm not home. So I only can put out videos every now and then and it's even hard to put out these videos in a moving truck As you see this truck is moving around like crazy um, Yeah, keep it together guy So it's even hard preparing meals on this truck, but I do Hopefully y'all like the video. Please remember to Subscribe man. I mean if y'all want to follow the journey subscribe Yeah, I mean if y'all also a part of the journey yeah, I mean, drop it in a comment. Let me know what's going on. Let me know y'all feel about what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, keep me motivated to keep doing these videos, man. So, hey, love each and every one of y'all. I mean, I appreciate the support. And yo, let's do it, man. See y'all on the next video. Peace. When I say this thing is nasty, it's nasty. Yeah. Take some coffee grain and just put it in your mouth and chew it up. Nasty. But hey, if it works, keep doing that shit, man. Keep doing that shit. Whatever tastes nasty is good for you. And whatever tastes good is usually bad for you. That's what they say, right? But yeah, man.